Yo, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome again. Um, this is Pedro. Yeah, we've had another interesting week. Uh, we have we had an interesting week this time, and uh, let's see. Now, okay, so um, looking into weekly again, uh, my um, range for price has been pointed out. Uh, in weekly, we have our last swing high and our last swing low. And the last swing that goes up or the last push up in price took out the previous high, which I mark over here with this buy, it took out the previous high, right? So uh, we can now go into, so at least, so this tells us that we are still in the bullish sentiment, right? So um, we don't know how the next week is gonna be. If the next week opens with a drop, then we have a break in market structure which gives us a sell view but if it opens and it keeps giving us bullish sentiment then it means this high is going to be taken out and when this is being taken out it's possible we could go a little bit further yes so that is for the bullish sentiment and uh, that is for this weekly chart all right so when we come into um, the daily which gives us the monthly view the same areas are being uh, pointed out over here we have price respecting an order block and uh, when i pull my trend line right up here sorry my line up here um order block was respected but yet we still need to confirm the pushing price all right um daily chart still gives us uh, bullish as well as in price going bullish so um we are waiting for price to give us breaking market structure again for bearishness and uh, as, as you can see the previous uh, days or the previous week price had the last swing high and then give us this last swing low but price did what price has bought into it so um we are now going to look at what price is doing around this area you see around this area All right so now we're going to go into um four hour to see what's going on out there All right so in four hour let me bring this lines back and carry this one here all right so now i'm going we're going to four hour and let's see what we have here now in four hour when i zoom out a little bit okay let me zoom in all right so this is what we have i can see um gaps right from okay oh, that blog. okay great so um where is my two clear all right so when i carry this trend line sorry this line um and i bring it to the last gap which was this place all right and i bring this to the last area where price to fill there is a gap here there is a gap here that i'm hoping price would fill moreover um price is still uh, giving us some strange um, setups but if you look at it clearly in four hour we have a, a a little bit of a breaker signal here but we don't know uh, where price is going to go but if you look at the odd uh, liquidity as i said we already have our gaps over here now we have this almost equal low over here even though price has taken out one of them All right so now we look at what transpires over here if price fails to go up and it gives us bearishness at least your safe tp should be in, around in this zone all right your tp should be in this zone this is where a price could maybe come to complete and if it's gonna go up then it will go up and if it's gonna go down you find a setup that gives you that all right so um this is what i'm seeing for gold and um, there's a lot of noise in the chat bearishness could happen soon because there's a lot of liquidity showing themselves in bearish uh, sentiment which i mentioned in my previous video the equal lows the um breaker signals right <clears throat> bearish breaker signals we have so many signals we look into uh, we have another breaker signal um uh, that's we use to anticipate the direction of price so um 
let's make the pip flow trade wisely and uh, you can message me anytime for whatsoever you want to know and i'll be there to assist you thank you so much and don't forget to share like and subscribe let's make the pip flow thank you so much bye